today we will extend our classes and objects uh, program and we will make a program for constructors as well and while discussing about constructor we would introduce the concept of function overloading that is polymorphism one more aspect or basic building block of object oriented paradigm and we would like to have some functions some data variables and then we will have a separate class and then call that class in some other class so let's get started first we'll make a class uh, say for some name so new project java application next name it uh, don't uh, create main class just give your name of your choice and just finish so we don't have any class uh, we'll make a class just go to new java class and name it as say name and finish okay now we have a class called name so let's make a uh, a class variable called uh, a person generally have a first name and a surname so we'll go with that let's have a string variable called f name first name and a string variable called s name so for first name this is a string variable and make it private the other one say s name for surname again do it in the similar manner now what we'll do is we will have to give a constructor what will be a constructor a constructor is a function with the name same as what the class has so we have a constructor say the name is name only and the constructor may take any number of parameters depending upon the parameters we can overload it how see give a access modifier and inside it we'll give two values one for f name one for s name so say f for f name and l for s name surname okay so we'll give two parameters string f for first name l for last name and we will just assign these two to our f name and s name f name f to f name first name and l for last name that is surname this is the constructor first constructor now if somebody says that okay i want just uh, the last name or the surname then how we will change this particular constructor what we'll do we will only give the string l we will make it nothing and this is fine what if somebody says that i don't want anything i just want that you declare it with, with a a null string okay for that we have this we'll just copy it and what we'll do is we'll not pass any parameter and last name also will give us null string so there are three constructor with a similar name but they have different functionality depending upon the parameters which we pass if we pass two parameter first will be taken as first name second will be taken as surname and if we give only one name it will be taken as a surname if we don't give nothing will be done only null string will take place now we have to give certain setter function or getter function set and get function are very good programming uh, you know it gives a good outlook to your programming uh, program and your programming skills so let's uh, give the first name let's set the first name okay for that what we have to do is just write a function called set name pass a parameter f and assign this to f name in the similar manner we will set a the surname also in the similar manner the the parameter you know the parameter will be passed as a string l so we'll do it like this 
similar function l will go to the surname now the set name has been done what about getting the name getting the name has to have a string as the return data type and only return in the function body so what we'll do is public this is the get function we'll just get a name and this has to be string the return type and one more for getter for s name similar manner this is the get s name so surname will be returned and now i am introducing a function called to string what this function will do it will just add f name and s name and will give a look of a common name for that i am introducing a this function you will see in most of the program because it makes your life easier it adds these two and you will not be troubled you know just going to every function and writing uh, some string and adding them so you don't have to go uh, for that it is already been made as a two string now we have a java class called name dot java now we will make a different class of with main in it and we'll call this class and we will use the objects there so again we'll go make another class name it as name test name it as name test finish it and start with a main you know how to write main public static void main okay let me end it now we are ready to make the program but what we have to do we have to use this class name class so we'll use this class and you know how to instantiate just name some object name and use new operator and inside it this is where your constructor will come this is where your constructor will come when you give whatever you pass the constructor will take likewise so i give two name say amit kumar and you will see the constructor this particular constructor will be executed so let me give a name say your my name and again one more i'll use for your name say rina dat again for this instantiation also this constructor will be called let me print it for you now this printing this printing will call to string this what i was talking about and see how easy your amit kumar and rina dat will be shown just by one line system dot 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 print ln and just say my name dot to string this is the way system dot dot print ln and okay see this line is calling this particular object and to string so amit kumar will be shown in the similar manner we'll show your name also these are the two strings which we are going to show so let me execute it for you we have amit kumar and reena dat so what about uh, just taking your first name means reena for that we have your name dot get f name get f name is getting the first name so we'll call it in sop system dot out dot print line your name dot f get f name so it should give reena okay reena is also coming and now i change your name or say surname to mishra i do, i just want to change dat to mishra what i'll do your name dot set s name set s name see this dot set s name go to s name you'll see what it does it just changes the s name to the string which has been given we have given the string as mishra and now again i'll print see what it does you see reena dat has been changed to reena mishra let's have some other name okay your friend name say 
some name of your friend so make a new object saying some name and set the name with this this particular function this particular function is doing the same work as this constructor is doing this constructor is doing so set set name what it will do it will give we don't have set name okay we write it we go to our name.java and we write it set name what it will do it will set the first name and last name okay now we have set name and this error is gone pat will be the f means first name and sam will be the surname and let me just show it to you and you know how to show it through two string and now the name should be pat sam the first name and the surname so this is pat sam so this is how we make a class we give constructors different constructor with different uh, parameters then we set first name and second name or the surname then we get the first name and second name and then we convert or do we add this uh, to f name and s name through two string and we make our objects and just call it through two string this is what our program is showing